breaking news coming in at this point in time amidst the ongoing war between Hamas and Israel. UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has arrived in Israel and he said that UK stands with Israel in this tough time. Let's in fact listen in to what he said. It's an important time. Above all, I'm here to express my solidarity with the Israeli people. You have suffered an unspeakable, horrific act of terrorism. And I want you to know that the United Kingdom and I stand with you. I'm looking forward to my meetings later today with the Prime Minister and President, and I very much hope that they will be productive meetings. Group Captain UK Devnath also with us on the broadcast. Group Captain Devnath, on one hand, you know, there is this assessment by the world community that this uh, war between Hamas and Israel is likely to escalate. On the other hand, you have people, you have dignitaries, you have world leaders pouring into Israel, showing their concern for what happened to uh, the country of Israel on the 7th of October. What, according to you, should be managed the most sensitively at this point in time so that, you know, this war continues to be a war between Hamas and Israel and does not spill over to surrounding countries? As we very well know, countries like Jordan, Syria, even Lebanon, uh, you know, have had, uh, you know, a bone to pick with Israel for decades now. Oh, yes, uh, absolutely correct. The war should not now, uh, go out of hand right now. Right now, the concern of world leaders is that Hamas and Israel should somehow uh, come to an understanding and Israel should stop aerial bombing of Hamas uh, targets inside Gaza. At the same time, Hamas should stop firing its ground-to-ground um, uh, -ground rockets on Israeli targets. That can only happen when all the world community leaders, uh, world leaders are there. Uh, Joe Biden visited them, Olaf Scholz visited them and now Rishi Sunak is there. They all are trying to show support uh, towards Israel. Yes, that is for media. But I am sure that behind the back, they are advising um, Netanyahu that he should uh, right now try and not invade Gaza. Because if Israeli troops, IDF, and tries to enter Gaza, then war will definitely become very, very bitter. To start with, the assessment of military analysts is that a Gaza war will uh, lead to death of more than 3,000 Israeli soldiers and many more Israeli civilians. So, uh, the emphasis right now, all these leaders, they are trying to tell the Arab world countries not to physically or militarily get involved in this war. And, uh, most of the Arab countries have understood. Iran probably is the only military uh, Muslim country which is trying to show uh, uh, some kind of a very, very vigorous and active support for uh, Hamas. Uh, Iran uh, is also arming, equipping and giving financial support to Hezbollah fighters who are based primarily in the uh, southern part of Lebanon and uh, south uh, western part of Syria. From there, uh, they are launching repeated uh, rocket attacks on Golan Heights. It must be understood that the uh, aim of Hezbollah in attacking Golan Heights is to divert attention of IDF uh, um, uh, forces, that is Iran. Israeli military and Israeli air force and keep them engaged in towards the north also. But soonest, the earliest, Netanyahu understands that an invasion of Gaza for a urban warfare is not militarily possible, the better will it be for a world community. Yes. Hmm. All right. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.